In this video, we're going to integrate Arlo cameras into Home Assistant, and we're going to leverage the motion sensors and the Arlo modes in our automations. So stick around because we're about to automate some boring stuff. What's up everyone? My name is Jeff, and if this is your first time here, at Slacker Labs, we look for ways to automate the boring stuff using smart home tech. I've been a fan of the Arlo cameras ever since the Pro 2s came out. They're wireless and battery powered, which makes them super easy to set up. They have decent video and there's a built-in integration for Home Assistant. But I think if you want to get some really good use out of these cameras in Home Assistant, then you need the Hax integration for the Arlo cameras. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to install that integration and set up these cameras so you can get the most out of them in Home Assistant. So let's get into it. To install this integration, we're going to need hacks. So if you don't already have it installed, take a break, jump over to my video on installing the Home Assistant Community Store, and then come back here when you're done. If you already have hacks installed, then we just need to head over to hacks and then integrations. You'll want to hit that blue add and explore repositories button in the lower right. Then search for Arlo. You'll want to install the Arlo camera support. You might also want to take a moment to read through the docs. I'm not going to read through all of that for you, there is some good information in the documentation, but if you're like me, you can just shoot from the hip and refer to the documentation as needed. Because if you do have two-factor authentication set up for your Arlo cameras, then you're going to need to do a little more on the configuration side. When you're ready, click the Install This Repository link. Once it's installed, it's time to reboot. I have a couple of other hacks updates I need to install. So there are a couple of red boxes here that you may not have when you get to this point. Once Home Assistant is back up, it's time to do some configuration in the YAML, because as of this video, you can't set up this integration through the UI's integration flow. Depending on how your configuration is set up, you may be able to do all of this in your configuration.yaml file. I currently have this in my camera.yaml file in my packages directory. If you want to copy and paste this YAML code, you'll find a link in the description of this video to a blog post where I go into more detail. The first section though you need is the Arlo colon. Pay attention to the spelling. The hacks integration is referenced using Arlo with a double A. Here, we're going to include the host, which is the Arlo web URL. Username and password to your Arlo account. I suggest you create an account for Home Assistant and share your cameras with it. Be sure to give that account permission to your devices in the Arlo app. Most of these I just stole from the documentation. If you're using two-factor authentication though, the important lines are going to be the TFA lines. This will be the email login info where Arlo sends the two-factor authentication info. After that, you want to be sure you include this sensor section as well. This will enable the sensors for each of these cameras that you'll be able to use in your automations and in the UI. And if you want to save some time, you can add this alarm panel section as well, if you don't already have one. If you do have one, just add the Arlo platform and then define your home mode and your away mode. These modes are defined in the Arlo app and I'll cover more detail about these in a bit. If you're unsure what your modes are, then skip this for now and we'll come back. After that, we'll need to restart Home Assistant. When that comes back up, you should have your cameras now listed as entities in Home Assistant. If you want to verify, just head over to your developer tools and then states and then scroll down to your cameras. You should have some cameras with names like this. And now that we have the basic configuration done, we can add these cameras to our Lovelace UI. You can simply add these to your dashboard using the built-in picture glance card. Ignore the image path. Set the camera entity to your Arlo camera that you want to display. Camera view I always leave on auto. Under entities, you can add some of those sensors we get from this integration, like the motion sensor, battery level is a good one, signal strength, and the captured today sensor. When you're happy, click save, and there you go. The image displayed on this card is the screenshot of the last recorded video. However, this card is somewhat limited. The Hacks integration gives you a custom card named Arlo Glance that is much more functional. You can find the YAML for this card in the blog post mentioned earlier or in the integration docs. But to set this up, you'll want to add a manual card. We're going to paste in the custom card definition. 
This one is already filled in for my info, but all you would need to edit is the name of your Arlo camera entity, then click save. This card has icons for all the sensors as well. And when you click on the image, you get the live feed after a short delay. The feed is behind a few seconds, so keep that in mind. On this camera, you have the signal strength, battery level, and you can click a button to take a snapshot, although I don't know when you would use that from here though. And maybe the coolest feature, you can see the library of recorded videos, and if you click on any of these, they will play. So if you're using this integration, be sure to set up and use the custom card. You can also take advantage of the Arlo modes as well so that you can automate when your cameras are recording and when they're not based on states or automations in Home Assistant. For example, in the Arlo app, I created a custom mode called Home. In this mode, only some of my cameras are recording when they see motion and others are not. The Away mode is the default one and when it's on, all of the cameras are recording when they sense motion. If you recall from the configuration section earlier, we can give Home Assistant access to these modes by adding them in the YAML under the Alarm Control panel. Just be sure the values you use in the YAML match the mode name in the app. If you haven't restarted since defining this in your configuration, do that next. Then, once you do, you should have a new Alarm Control Panel entity like this. And it comes with some services. Some of these services you see here came with the cameras, but the main one I use is Arlo Set Mode. For example, in my automation that fires when the security system is armed, I have an action that calls the Alarm Control Panel Arlo Set Mode service, gives it the entity ID of my base station entity, and the mode I want to use, like armed. This means when I leave, all my cameras switch to recording mode. And when one of us arrives home, the Welcome Home automation calls the same service and sets the Arlo mode to home, which turns off the recording for some of the cameras. This integration also gives you access to the motion sensors on these cameras, which is useful for triggering automations based on when these cameras see motion. For example, you could have an automation that triggers when motion is detected on your front porch camera, and then have Home Assistant send you a notification, or in my case, make a snarky announcement that someone is at the front door. And they just threw salt all over the floor and let the robo vac clean it up. And I thought, I can do that. I'm a professional. So I sellotaped my camera to my ceiling and threw sugar all over my kitchen. Sugar isn't the same thing as... My sensors have detected a meat popsicle at the front door. But one of my favorite things to do is to track how many times motion is detected. For example, I've defined a history stat sensor that counts the times that the motion sensor for my front door switches to on. This one collects the count for the last seven days. Then I have a utility meter sensor that takes that history stat sensor we just talked about and gets me the daily count. With that daily sensor, I can include the overnight count of when the motion sensor was tripped in my daily briefing or in a text notification, which reminds me to check to see if there was anything of importance on any of the recorded video from the previous night. And of course, you could use the other sensors here as well. The easy one is probably setting up Home Assistant to let you know when you need to charge your Arlo camera batteries. I'll include a write-up of all of these automations that I use with these cameras in more detail over at slacker-labs.com. There's a link to that article in the description of this video. So head over there if you're interested in grabbing any of the YAML I've shown in this video. And if you're using Arlo cameras today and you're not already using the Hacks integration, I hope this video gave you a little more information on how to get started. If you found this video useful, hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel for more smart home content like this. As always, thanks for taking time out of your home automation projects to watch mine. Until next time, go automate the boring stuff.